Food. Everyone needs food to live. Yet food does so much more than simply sustain us. Food can define our culture and provide rich history filled with tradition that tells a story of our past. Food can bring people together for a meal, celebration, or feast. Food is ingrained in nearly every aspect of daily life. Food comes in all shapes, sizes, and types. Today, we'll be talking about two different types of foods, slow food and fast food. Fast food, as we all well know, is food that can be prepared and served quickly, often with little consideration given to quality or significance. On the other end, slow food is defined as food that is produced or prepared in accordance with local culinary traditions, typically using high quality, locally sourced ingredients. Slow food is a relatively new movement that started here, at the Spanish steppes in the heart of Italy. In 1986, this man, Carlo Petrini, like many other Italians, was protesting the installment of the first McDonald's in Italy. It was to be built near the historic Spanish steppes, and Italians felt that the style of fast food was an affront to everything that defined them. The official goal of Petrini's slow food movement is to fight for regional traditions, good food, gastronomic pleasure, and a slow pace of life. The slow food movement has grown into a global organization that is now represented in 160 countries. The Spanish steps are important to Italians because of their rich history and cultural significance. The church at the top of the steps, Trinitia de Monti, was present long before the steps were built. Finished in 1585, the church is connected to the monastery of the Minimite order who still maintain it to this day. It was commissioned in 1502 by King Louis XIII following France's invasion of Naples. The steps were then built and finished in 1725 and were actually financed by the French. To this day, it remains a highly popular tourist attraction. Just down the way from the Spanish steps sits the first McDonald's location in Italy. The location features a dual-leveled McDonald's with a McCafe taking up the lower floor and the more traditional McDonald's occupying the upper level. Built and opened in 1986, it took the place of a bar right next to the headquarters of the design company Valentino. When it opened, the crowds of people flocking to the McDonald's called, caused such a ruckus that the Italian officials had to force the McDonald's to close during certain hours. Many were concerned about the smell of burgers and fries having a negative effect that McDonald's had to update its venting and airflow. Many argue that slow food has benefits such as better nutrition, greater enjoyment of meals and the people with whom you share them, support for local farmers and small businesses, lower stress from a slower, more aware pace of life, sustainable practices in farming, and less disposable packaging. However, some people argue that slow food has downsides, stating that it is elitist because of the higher cost associated with being officially branded slow food. Not everyone can afford to regularly pay for fresh local produce, nor has the time to properly prepare it. 